Hello. Samaritan's Purse is a Christian humanitarian aid organisation that provides disaster relief and aid to people around the world. It's headed up by Billy Graham's son, Franklin, and Operation Christmas Child is a part of Samaritan's Purse. Operation Christmas Child is a great way to, to bring joy into children's lives and it's an opportunity for them to hear the gospel. Part of our church mission statement says that we want to proclaim Jesus Christ to all generations and this is a fantastic way to do this. And now we're going to watch a video that shows the whole process. The children are completely overjoyed. It's a real celebration. So many smiles on their faces. Smiles are all over. Yeah, these kids behind me are so excited because they've just received their boxes. Kids are so excited. Giving them a gift, do it in Jesus' name. That's what this is all about. Operation Christmas Child is about expressing the love of God. It's its wonderful way to enter into the Christmas spirit in its true meaning. Operation Christmas Child has grown hugely over 30 years since it started here in Britain, but now it is a worldwide project to send millions of shoeboxes all over the world. That's what I love about Operation Christmas Child. It knows no borders and knows no boundaries. It's all about sharing the name of Jesus Christ. So the shoebox journey essentially starts from people in their home packing shoeboxes full of essential items like a toothbrush, some school supplies. Toys and gifts, hygiene items. So there's a real mix. I love choosing the things to go in a shoebox. I like to think about what a child would enjoy receiving. Father, we commit these boxes to you as they start their journey. It's so encouraging having people coming into the church, bringing their boxes. All sorts of people can help with Operation Christmas Child. It's families, it's churches, it's hundreds of thousands of volunteers that help make Operation Christmas Child so successful. The volunteers lovingly check and prepare shoe boxes for international shipping. Everybody out there who packs shoe boxes, they are spreading God's love. Some of them go by train, some go by camels, some go by ships. These boxes go all over the world. And that is only the beginning. So when the children have got their boxes, they are invited to take part in something called The Greatest Journey. Which is a 12 lesson discipleship program where they learn about the greatest gift, which is Jesus Christ. After a child completes The Greatest Journey, they graduate and receive a certificate and a Bible in their own language. When the light of the gospel is turned on, it makes everything new. Operation Christmas Child opens doors for people to discover what is the greatest gift of all, the love of God through Jesus. It is impacting children. It is impacting families. It is impacting the world greatly. I really encourage you to pack a shoebox and get involved with Operation Christmas Child. Lives are being changed all over the world. It's brilliant. Packing a shoebox. So the first thing is to find the brochure that you received in your shoebox. On it, at the back of it, there are labels and inside there are ideas of things to put in the boxes and things not to put in the boxes. Then you decide whether you're doing a girl or boy and what age group. There are the labels. So you cut those out and you attach those to the top of the box. 
Then you pack the box. That's the hardest thing. It's the most fun thing. So this box I'm doing for a, a little girl, two to four years. So I have a T-shirt. I'm going to lay that in. It's just folded to, to fit in the box. Then I have a little skirt and a scrunchie. It can go in next. Undies. There's the large drawstring bag. Then I have a little marble bag, but they don't have marbles because they're too young at two to four years of age. So I fill that up with hair clips and scrunchies and necklace and, and bracelet and things like that. Next, I'm going to add the, the skipping ropes. Then the two exercise books can let go there. The trick is just to use every part of your box for something so that it all fits in. So some tennis balls, hygiene things, soap and washer, that's important. Then I've got a little a toy. It's a, a puppet, a little hand puppet. Um, next, I've got the pencils with the rubber and the sharpener. And then I've got a, a, a beanie, which I like to lay close to the top. A few little trinkets, little clappers, a little horn, and a little springer can fit in the um, in-between things very neatly. Something special. I have some little glasses from the party section of the base warehouse. And then um, I nearly forgot the toothbrushes, very important. And lastly, a little um, knitted uh, doll. It, it's actually a little bunny rabbit. So that's going to go on last so that when they open the box, they see the lovely little knitted toy. Okay, now that's not all. Um, don't forget to include your transport money. Um, just lay that on top in cash or you, if you prefer, you can pay for the transport online. And very, very last, don't forget, this is something nice that you can do. Write a little letter and lay it on the top. You could even put a photo of yourself in with that if you want. Um, if kids Kids, are you, if you're going to do a box, there's a special letter I have for you that you can ask for. You just fill that in and colour it in and you might like to put that in as your letter on the box. Um, so you close it up. Please do not sticky tape it up. Um, when they go down to the processing centre, all the boxes are opened and checked through before they're put in cartons and sent off. So just a, a lovely big elastic band or a piece of string, just tie it up. So where to purchase your goodies during lockdown? Normally our church purchases very affordable items uh, to fill our boxes from Operation Christmas Child in Sydney. Um, and then we make them available to you. So currently, this just isn't happening because of the lockdown. Um, so what you could do is you could do online shopping if that's a possibility. Places like supermarkets, you could get pens and pencils. Places like Kmart, Kmart is a great place to shop, best and less. The base warehouse, Erina, that's very good. But we do have the starter packs for you. For six dollars, they're available to you. And each starter pack um, includes two exercise books, a bookmark, a beautiful bookmark made by Joy, a pencil pack, a skipping rope, soap and washer, two toothbrushes, comb, tennis ball, and a disc shooter, and a small drawstring bag. So this is a great way to start your box. 
And there's more. We do have more things if you're interested. We have things to like some yo-yos. We have quite a few yo-yos. Um, we have some t-shirts uh, ranging from $1.50 up to $3 um, available to you. We have some little cars if you're doing boy boxes um, and we have some little knits for a, for a little doll um, to, to pop in your box. So they're available to you and the way that you get your supplies, if we will contact you to see what you need and we'll drop everything into you at your front door. Or you could contact myself on 0488438803 or email viamckay at hotmail.com. So what's next? Just return your boxes to church by Sunday the 7th of November. If you prefer, I can come and get them from you beforehand. And don't forget, please pray for the child who will receive your box. Well, I hope that helps. It just about sums it up. If you have any questions, please give me a ring. I hope that you've been enthused to be part of the shoebox ministry again this year. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs>